What's up guys, here with another build based off the character Oni Link from Majora's Mask. This build focuses on magic and the Moonlight Greatsword. Alright guys, we'll go ahead and jump into the stats. We're still level 150 and we start with the Sorcerer class. So we have 18 in Strength, 18 in Dexterity, so we could wield the Moonlight Greatsword. And with that kind of Strength and Dexterity, we could also wield the Watcher Greatsword. Alright, so since this build revolves around magic, we're gonna have our intelligence at 40 and our faith at 4. And it only says 43 right here and 7 right here because I have my crown on and that adds plus 3 in faith and plus 3 in intelligence. Alright, so we have 40 in intelligence because the Moonlight Greatsword scales with the S in magic. We will not be touching faith and we'll go ahead and just leave that at 4. We have 16 in attunement, giving us 3 slots for spells. And in our spell slots, we have Home and Crystal Soul Mass, Soul Great Sword, and Strong Magic Shield. I picked these 3 spells for their usefulness in close combat, which I will be talking about more in the PvP videos. Okay, so we have 40 in Vigor, 25 in Endurance, and 22 in Adaptability. Nothing special in those stats, pretty common for a melee build. We have 20 in Vitality, giving us a total of 77 in Equip Load, with the 3rd Dragon Ring on. And with all of our armor and weapons equip, it takes up 65.1% of our Equip Load. Okay, so on to the armor. I picked them on Appearance before Armor Rating. We have the King's Crown plus 5, Alone Knight Armor plus 10, Throne Watcher Goblins plus 5, and the Elite Knight Leggings plus 10. Okay, so for our weapon slot, we have the Magic Moonlight Greatsword plus 5, giving us a total of 522 in damage. May not seem a lot, but this is pure magic damage. And for our staff, we have the Magic Witch Tree Branch plus 10. And I picked this for its casting speed. Really makes a difference when you're casting Soul Great Sword. For our shield, we have the Lightning Slumbering Dragon Shield plus 10. It's great for stamina recovery and lightning protection. Not really great in physical protection, but we will be casting Strong Magic Shield, giving us 100% in elemental protection and physical. And if you want a bow, I suggest the Magic Dragon Rider Bow plus 5. It needs 20 in strength, but when you two-hand it, you'll be able to wield it. It scales with the C in magic and built-in magic damage. For the rings, we have the Chloranthi Ring plus 2, third Dragon Ring. Two common rings for melee builds. We will not be adding the Ring of Blades due to the fact of its little to no damage on this build. We also have the Clear Blue Stone Ring plus 2. This will make a big difference for our Soul Great Sword. For our last ring, we have the Ring of Giants plus 2. This will help you keep attacking while your enemy gets stun locked. You can also switch this out for the Southern Ritual Band plus 2 and get more spell slots. And in your belt slot, you should have the Repair Powder. Because the Moonlight Greatsword's R2 attack eats 10 durability per use. Alright, so on to the PvP. The first thing I would like to talk about is the Moonlight Greatsword. It does 522 of pure magic damage on this build, and it will eat through most shields. It has a really great R2 attack that will shoot a beam towards your enemies. That damage is based off your magic damage on the sword. And when the beam hits something solid, it does a little AoE explosion that will damage your opponent, so use that to your advantage. Here are some clips of me using the R2 attack to my advantage. As you can tell by the vids, it's really great to use when your enemy retreats or is no longer in range.
Alright, so the next thing I will talk about is the spells. And the first one will be Soul Greatsword. It has amazing range and impressive damage, hitting around 400 to 900. And guess what? It goes through walls. Alright, so for our next spell, Strong Magic Shield. It basically makes most casting builds look useless, as you can tell by these clips. I probably don't need to explain homing soul mass. It pretty much helps overwhelm your opponents. Alright, so one more little thing. I did choose the Ring of Giants and it's pretty much for opponents who use faster weapons. I think it helps, but you could also switch it up with the Ring of Protection. That's it for the build. This is the part where I shut up and show you more PvP clips. Enjoy.